Hello, I'm Braxton Evelyn, the beauty food chick. Welcome to my channel, a place where you'll find a lot of tips and tricks for food and beauty. Today on the beauty food chick, come along and I'll show you how I use eggplant for two sauces. Eggplant for our ingredients will need dill for flavor pepper flakes crayfish corn flour salt seasoning and of course you know there must be garlic here garlic or pepper bell peppers or tatase, onions, oil of course, protein we'll be using Titus fish and soy sauce. Now let's go right into today's recipe. So you want to start by cutting your eggplant or aubergine so i'm going to start with the stir fry and um, for easy and fast cutting you want to cut it in two slice it into several strips and bind them together and cut them into cubes like this or you can stand your aubergine like this and cube them so aubergine is a superfood with tons of nutrients so in a bowl you bring in your aubergine your pepper flakes your oil a little bit of oil now i use baby eggplants so this is one tablespoon of corn flour about two tablespoons of oil a pinch of salt one cube of seasoning cube and then i go ahead to mix this together my hands were clean so it was okay for me to do this into your pan stir fry pan preferably for a non-stick pan preferably you bring in about four tablespoons you can do less oil i wanted more oil because this sauce does not have water in it you add your um, aubergine stir for like two minutes then add your soy sauce and allow it to cook for about five minutes by that time you bring in your dill stir and turn off the heat your stir fry eggplant is ready is ready is ready is ready is ready this was so yum delicious it was now you can pair this with anything rice preferably rice or yam or boiled potatoes eggplant is low in uh, calories and it has sodium and a great source of dietary fiber also has uh, potassium and uh, b vitamins why do you add cornstarch to stir fry so that it helps you to seal your juices and your flavors look at how pretty that looks it was so nice with this rice then in the case of eggplants it is also to help you to thicken the liquid in the ingredients so you see there's really no liquid in this stir fry but trust me you will not miss it this was so beautiful. I hope you will be giving this recipe a try. Please let me know in the comment section if you would. 
give this a try now I am gonna show you how to make this also in a sauce this is so pretty you know give yourself a treat once in a while give your family a treat now let's go into the part two aubergine sauce so you want to start by prepping your ingredients pepper garlic bell peppers right into your mini food processor add onions if you want to most of these ingredients are adaptable to your preference so if you do not want pepper do not add pepper if you do not want garlic do not add garlic simple as abc now this is what we are looking for so you want to start by adding about three tablespoons of oil fry your onions to release all of those flavors because this food gotta be tasty bring in your condiment which is the pepper bell pepper and garlic now you saw that fish right boil it debone it and at this point you bring it in i love to use a wok for my stir fries bring in your crayfish one tablespoon of crayfish one cube seasoning and um, a pinch of salt you're careful with se uh, seasoning cube and salt because you have boiled your fish adding all of these things now i am gonna be roasting the aubergine why am i roasting the aubergine because i want it to have the roast flavor and then also it helps me to soften the eggplant which makes it very easy for me to mash instead of blending or pounding because i did not want it too soft and smooth so you peel off like so and it looks this beautiful in a bowl bring everything together and just mash it nicely like so into your sauteed fish add your eggplant give it like about four minutes add a little water I also use the I added one seasoning cube then I also use the fish stock for added flavor guys it's gonna be tasteless if you don't do all of this and voila we're ready to crown this up use either parsley or coriander I chose to use dill and we're ready Serve this with yam and you will not regret it. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about this recipe. Please press the notification bell so that you know when I have something new up for you. God bless you for coming to my channel. I love you so much. Please come back. Mwah!